Welcome everyone. Uh, Xander from Scraps of Beauty and it is Sunday afternoon. Let me just adjust my camera here one second. Uh, hold on. There we go. There we are. Let's move in a little bit closer if I can before we get going. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Alrighty. Hi, Shauna. So, uh, if you're watching the recording, thanks for coming. Um, if you're new to my channel, thanks for coming. Um, I'll go away probably 10 minutes or so. <laughs> right, right. Thank you for the napkins. She sent me some mermaid napkins and paper plates. Um, I love your nestles, Joan. Be with yours and Patty's. They're like awesome. <laughs> so if you were missing uh, Patty, uh, she's Inky Obsession. She showed a sneak peek of her new eye stencil, um, hers and Joan's new eye stencils. Uh, that'll be coming out hopefully at the end of the month. Patty said maybe a little sooner, which would be nice. So we are going to play with play uh first i want to end some of Finnabar's wax um first i wanted to show you hey you're welcome <laughs> hi nana hey jersey oh my gosh i'm so happy for you she was waiting to get a thousand uh viewers i was watching uh is it johnny's live stream yesterday i was just lurking and it was so fun in the beginning because they were <laughs> She was like short 17 people or something. And then she eventually got, uh, she got her thousand people. So that was good. So yay for Laura. She's a Jersey uh, crafter. Hi, Janet, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn, I got some of your paper in and your tissue paper. So, so like I said in the beginning, if you're not interested in seeing what's new in the shop, just fast forward and then uh, we'll get, I'm still waiting for my book to dry anyway a little bit. So. Um, hi, Devon. It was a subbing crancing. It was dark, but it was fun. So I wanted to show you what I added to my book. This is the Robin McClendon retreat that uh, Patty, April, Kathy, and Gail and myself went to. So I just added a few things. Um, I wound up getting some new die cuts. This is from a girl on Instagram. I think she's um, they're pretty nice stencils. So, and you get two. I think uh, these two came together. That one and another big one came together. So, you don't want to see what's new. <laughs> you will want to see what's new. Clean. <laughs> More Stamperia. <laughs> um, so, this was one of the jelly prints that Kathy Burke um, had gifted me. So, I put that in there with my little scripting. So I added some more. This is at Gina K. Um, can you see the glitter in that? I really like it. Even how fine this is, it goes right through there. Pretty cool. So I added that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the other. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> this is the other one. So oh, I wind up adding some of my washi tape. You can see that there. Nice gold washi tape. And I think this, I cut this out from Spellbinders. I don't know if you saw that last time. I added some of the um, prints that I took from the fabric. Hi, Kimberly. And then I added, this is the Finnabar's paste. I ran that through her stencil, Gina K paste. You can see the glitter. It is pretty glittery. So I got that. Hi, Patty. Oh my gosh, I love the new stencil. I'm gonna be broke. I hope she doesn't get her website till like April 1st. <laughs> ah. Um, I think I don't know if I showed you that I added these girls or not, but so I added a couple of those. Uh, anything else? Let me see. So I've been just adding here and there a little bit at a time. Oh, I did add. I think this one I showed you last time. This is a Gina K um, glitter paste. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jersey. And then I add the couple pages in here for my pockets. So I'm just going to keep adding on here and there. I think I think that's it. Oh, I added a, another, this is another one of those uh, dies from her. I love stencil. Oh, thanks, Eileen. 
All right. So if you follow me on Instagram, so that was my little book from Robin, which I love. And she does have a new going on on YouTube. So be sure to check her out. Let's <laughs> uh, read the chat. I see that? It really embossed it nicely. And nobody took a guess of what it you have to know. It's not uh, not the first time I think I've done it. I think people have done it. It's hard to see with the white. But I thought I would be able to use this on my box today, but because it's so soft, it doesn't really take um, sprays or anything like that. You really have to spray with color first. Hi, Peggy. Um, hi, Jean. Welcome. Um, but uh, Joan knows what it is. <laughs> it is from regular. You see that there? Oh, thanks, Katrina. It's regular toilet paper. I just wrapped a lot of people use five or six. I only use three layers and um, it worked really well with that. But I thought that I would be able to put that on my box and be able to like it does take acrylic paint, but you get to, it hits the top and not really. I should have brought the piece that I did and not really. Um, but they're great for cards. I mean, if you wanted to do cards, you know, and colored the first. I even ran my uh, Jane Davenport mermaid stencil through and that took two. <laughs> Yes, Eileen. <laughs> but look how nice. I mean, it's raised. You see how nicely it's raised up? It does give it a lot of dimension. So, but just instead of spraying with water, I would use your sprays first if you want to color it. But I'll probably put these on my tags in the store. <laughs> I always send out tags. All right. And so what else did I have to show you? Oh, I think so. We're going to play with this. Now, Eileen says that this isn't that great. I've already used, um, oh wait, I have to show you what, what, what was in the store yet. <laughs> um, hi Judy, welcome. So a couple things, I just got an order. I can't believe um, Federal Express actually ships on Sunday. Is my camera moving? Oh gosh. I hope we don't have that trouble again tonight. Is it moving? Hopefully not. Um, but um, I did list some things in the store, but hi Sharon. Um, but I don't have these. These first ones I'm going to show you aren't in the store. When I get off stream, I'll do it. But look at this paper. Eileen, that's huge from Stamperia. It's the new tissue paper. They have quite a few of these that are this big now. So I'm thinking about using this one to line my box. Look how cute the little octopus. Can you see it? It's so cute. So that's not in the store yet. What I'm showing you in the beginning here is not in the shop yet, but will be. Um, and I only let me know if you want any of the new Stamperia stuff. I did get Julie Faith Van Boulder's new stencil. You want it? <laughs> okay. Um, I got Gabriella's new stencil. This one, um, these are Stamperia's. So Eileen, let me know if you want. I know she probably wants all of Stamperia's. <laughs> uh, this is her new stencil there. Um, I think. And I have a couple of other new things. Let me see. Where are they? Before I show you what's already in the shop. Um, let's see. Just put it all. Okay. <laughs> put it all in there. Hi, Gail. Hi, Vicki. This is the new Cosmo um, Cosmos tissue paper. That's not in. After I get on, I will. Um, this one, I only got one of, Eileen. So I'll have to get to these next time. <laughs> but these are the new Stamperia ones. Um, up here. You love Stamperia? Yeah, you can find it anywhere. Um, so I got that. I think I have some new tissue papers. Let me see where those are. Other in the in the shop. I did get a restock of this. So if you guys are interested, hi Carrie Ann, and any of the Oriental ones, they are in the shop now. Um, let's see what else. As far as tissue paper, I'm trying to see what else. I have this one's in there, this, that one. These, this I think is back, well, not back order, but it's coming in the next shipment. I think I, and then Shauna, you got this. They are discontinuing this. So if you were one of the lucky few to grab one of these, uh, yeah, they're discontinuing. So that's the only problem with Stamperia. They discontinue a lot of their stuff like so quick. It just came out. So. So those are new. So that's in the shop. Uh, let's see. And like I said, I'll put most of those in there. Um, 
We're going to play with this tonight. This is their cutout chipboards. I'm going to put the pipes, I think, on the uh, on my box. So that's the chipboard. And then this one is the diver. So you can see it better here, here in the back. It's just a big diver there. I think this would be cool with one of those um, plastics that you could put like uh, the other yummy, right, Peggy? That you can put the, like beads and stuff in there. Okay, let's see. I have quite a bit here. So like I said, if you're not interested, fast forward before we get going. I did get some of the Vicki Booten uh, stencils in. That's in the shop now. Uh, some of the Dina Wakely see, uh, chipboards. I also have the bug one, too. Hi, Junk Journal Shop. I think I saw you at uh, Johnny's. Did I see you there? And then these two, I thought that were both the same, but they're different. These are new Tim Holtz um, doodle stencils. They look so similar, but they're different. <laughs> she wants them all. Done. These, I think I, I might be out of those, but we'll see. I have another order coming at the end of the week. So um, what you don't see now will be in there. All right, let's see. These are new Art by Mylene stencils. It's hard to see with the leaf. I'll do turn in the back there. Uh, I should put them all together. Let me see. I have a few of these and I got one or two in but like I said I'll put them in after the shop by this one and hopefully the other ones will be in um, by the end of the week there's that um, there's from Joggles so, and then there's that one so there's that um, let's see this, I have one, I think one of these are um, in each. You are, Johnny. Welcome. Hi, I saw, I was lurking yesterday. I really was interested in your, the ones from France, the uh, scrapbook journal covers. She didn't get them in yet. But she, if you click on junk journal shop, she does a live stream and she sells different things. The laces, I love the lace too. You need that lace stamp? Okay, Shauna. <laughs> this one. I'll have to get more of these. So I didn't wasn't sure if many people are interested in these, but um, I'll get more. I'll get more of these. In. Uh, let's see. These are just rub-ons. I thought they were kind of cute for anybody who does um, cards. These are again Julie Fay Fan Bolzers. I like this one. Her new stencil. That one. This one with the fish. Oh, the fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, this is Gabrielle's. I think I have one or two of these in the shop still. You need the lace one too? All right, I'll order a couple of those. <laughs> and then there's this. I was looking for Colleen. Is Colleen here? And then there's this one also. So a couple of these are in there. Uh, let's see what else. Colleen's not here yet, is she? No. You need one of everything. <laughs> this is what we're going to play with tonight. I'll put this on the, uh, the book. This is Stamperia's gray, we call it gray board, but it's chipboard. So we're going to use that. Uh, the new seahorse one. This is Art Bar Million. I'm getting more of these in. They're not in yet. Um, I think these will be here by the end of the week, the butterfly ones. I love the butterfly ones. Do that one there. Oh, Jeff pens. More of these will be coming. <clears throat> so now these stamps go with the forest. Colleen has the forest. Um, I'm trying to get those out. So maybe she'll watch the recording. But these are the stamps that go with their forest uh, collection. So you can see that there. I got this because it looks like a Nautilus shell. And then there's this one with the fish and the bubbles. And then these are the new um, stencils, too, that match the SeaWorld collection. So this is the one I think Shauna and Eileen got. I think I have two of these in the shop. This one's not in the shop yet, but will be in the shop. I'll save you one of these, um, Eileen. This is a new distress. I forget what he calls this. Distress something or other. Uh, let's see. And then this is the new leaf one that goes with the forest stencil. You can see that. 
This one's a really cool one. You got that one yesterday, right, Eileen? And the crackle. So if you see Patty use her crackle roller, this would be a good alternative if you're interested in the crackle roller. So maybe we'll use that. We'll use that um, so we can see what that looks like. Uh, just a few more things. <laughs> oh, I did get this one too, the pipes. So we might use the pipe one in our box today. Um, if you're looking for the zodiac sign, I already got four in. They came today. Three of them were spoken for, so there's one left in the shop. <laughs> That's fine. Did you get this one, Eileen, the pipe one? I have one of these left, so let me know if you want the pipe one. I couldn't remember if you got What's that? Oh, this one. This one. It's hard to see with the white, but you can see that. So that's a new stamp, and I think there's one more. There's this one. I'm getting more of these in. Yes, you want it as <laughs> a pipe one. Okay. And then there's this one with the seahorse. So that's kind of all. Um, I missed a few things, but that's mostly what's new in the shop. Their stamps are really nice. They are. Um, so you can take a look at that and see what else is new. Now, oh, I have two more things. Let me know if you want these, Eileen. These are Stamperias. Now, I have to show you their molds. Oh, and I did get these, but they're already spoken for. This is Jane Davenport's new kelp um, stamp. I might use that in with what we're going to do tonight. I'll put that there. So I want to show you Stamperias. Um, we're going to play with the clay. Awesome thing. Um, the only thing is, I wish their molds weren't so deep. Now, I think if you see this, this is how I thought they were going to be. Now, can you see? I don't know if you can see the depthness. It's not really too thick. Can you see there? But now when you go to some of their others, like look at this butterfly one. Look how deep that is. You see how deep? That's almost twice the size of this. I mean, it's super deep. It takes a lot of clay. This is their butterfly one. I just wish they weren't so deep. So like this one, if you could see, I wish they were like this. So if I can compare this one. Yeah, it's really deep. Did you try your uh, the uh, diver one, Dylene? So can you see the difference? It's like super, especially here. Look how deep that is compared to this. I don't like them so deep, but what are you going to do? But this is their new version of... Um, their molds. You know how we use the Finnabar, um, oh, what is that? The Finnabar paste, what's it called? Uh, I don't have one up here. That we um, put it on an embossing folder and peeled it off like it was a skin, like acrylic skin. So you can see this one. It's, it's made, I think, just for that. We might try it with this and see. Oh, I got two of the art ones. There's another one, a lacy one. Anyway, I have two, I have two of these. I have one like this. I've been watching the restream today. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll try that so I could show you. Um, so we're actually going to do one of the divers or the seahorse. And one of... So I'm going to show to you what it looks like with paper clay. Just hold on a second here. You love the octopus ivory, so do I. So here it is. Now, I did this one with paper clay, and it did crack in a few places. It takes a lot of clay. I, I want to say it took almost a third of the package. So you can see that. That's the diver. Here is the seahorse. It's so cool. I love that. So we're going to use maybe one of these. And I love the fish. Got the gears, the fish have gears all over it. So we'll use some of those. And they did have, has a starfish. So we use a couple of those. I love this guy. Can you see this one? He's got some gears on him. They came out really, really good. All right. Um, I had a hard time though with the gears, like one of them trying to get the gears from the clay. So I don't know if that's a paper clay 
I wish the uh, Stamparia would do, and then here's a couple other seahorses I did. Um, I wish they would do a YouTube video on how to use their molds. In resonant, or, yeah, right, it would be, Debbie. So let's see. Um, so we'll put these to the side. And then I have some other ones, too. I remember this one. I have to ask Charlene to bring this mold to Maryland. I love this guy, this fish guy. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let's open this. Oh, I need to. Uh, where is my bottles in the glove? Gloves in the bottle. Do I have that here somewhere? Uh, bring it out. Oh, I don't have it. We're going to make diver cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh, diver cookies. Make the seahorse ones. I think they would be easier. It's it's hard to get the octopus legs out. I do like their clay because it is extra light and soft, but I don't know. I had a hard time when I was in Maryland getting it to work. So let's do let's do let's try the embossing folder first. So this one you can't read, just looks like a big jumble, but it says art, and then it's got like fern leaves and scripting. So buffering. Oh no. Maybe it's all the white. Oh, let me put something dark in here. There, that should help it, hopefully. Maybe this. <laughs> so you can see it next to here. This looks almost like beige, and this is like super white. Not buffering, though, no, it's good. Maybe because you're in Jersey and I'm in Jersey, Jersey. <laughs> um, and it's so nice um, to like manipulate. I mean, it's better, it's even softer than um, paper clay. I mean, it's really, it is really nice, but I just can't get it to do what I want it to do. So let's see. So I'm going to push this out super thin. Oh, it's not what I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do the word art. Let's just see if we can get that in there. So I'm just going to push this in. But what they use there, it's kind of like Finn's, um, what's that called? Icing paste, her icing paste. And so what they do is they put this on here and then let it dry and then peel it back. So it looks like a, a skin, like an acrylic skin that was left over, like Dee Dee does in her coffee uh, tins, tops. Let's see if this works. Press it in there hard enough. Yeah. And then you just peel it back and then let me get a piece of paper here. And there you can see, can you see the dimension? It's hard with the, that it's white, but it says art. Crayola clay, it might be, might be a little bit better. I have some of that, but we'll have to try that next time. I wish it wasn't, I'll have to spray this. I wonder if I have, uh, maybe we could just paint it. Let's see, I have some thin, let's put some thin uh, paint on here and then you can see it. Uh, I need a brush. It is pretty, isn't it? I like that it's nice and thin and it's deep. The um, Impression is very deep. So let's just put a little on here and see. Oh, what is this? It's not open. Yeah, it's open. How come it doesn't? Why isn't that? Wow, that looks like it's hard as a rock. Why is that? Let me try the other one. Terry, 
you love what you see now just want to i'm going to get it dark so that you can see um you can really see the impression there we go and remember this is it's still wet it's not really dry So there you go. Now you can see it a lot better. Isn't that pretty? Well, hi, Darcy. You didn't get a notification. Oh, no. And then it has the script. You can see how lightly the script is. So this whole bottom part is script. Hi, Erin. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool one. And then the other one I have, um, which I don't have here, but Eileen, I'll save you one of these and one of the other ones. So just let me know if you want these or not. But I think they're pretty cool. So we'll let that dry. But I really like it. So I hope they do more of their molds like that. Because the other one is just so thick. Uh, paper clay. Yeah, it's cool, right? All right. So let me put that to the side to dry and so now i'm going to show you how to do the um the octopus uh, the diver and i think why mine might have cracked here is because i tried to do it in two pieces i did the top part and the idea of what is how big i need so you can see this almost takes half almost half of the package so there's that So yeah, so just about almost, you can see that? Almost half on that little piece that I took out from before. So it does take a lot of clay. Did I get a blue dot there? So the hardest part is trying to get one big glob so you don't get a seam in it. So. I'm going to try to do it like this. I'm using the Stamperia clay. That's this one. The one that says extra light soft clay. Like I said, it, this is a lot easier to handle than the regular paper clay. The hardest part is trying to cut out all these grooves at the bottom. Oh no, Dar, oh, buffering. So you just kind of try to push it all in there. And I just kind of pull stuff away. The hardest part is the little tentacles the little curly cues to try to get them out without them breaking <laughs> all right so let's see so you really want to push it hard so that there's any cracks in the front part you'll get it kind of smooth kind of do it with my fingers and then try to see where the part that's opened here the hard part too is because this is nice and thick up here hi Belinda 
but the tentacles, it, it seems like it goes down the mold so that they're not as thick as the top part. All right, so let's see. And I'm kind of rushing to do this, but you would take your time. I'm just trying to get so you have an idea of how to how to use the mold. And I'll be getting more of these in. So if you want to use these, you can. I just want to see where the other legs are. The nice thing, too, about this, it's clear. So you can see if there's any cracks or um, you didn't fill it in all the way, you can just press it in harder. So like I could see here where his mask is, it's a few little cracks in there. And then see here, this little tentacle. So that's the hardest part about this mold is just to find the separations. Air dry clay. Yes, it is air dry. The um, Stamperia Extra Light um, air dry clay. So did we get it all? I just kind of keep rubbing and then looking to the front. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Let's get this out. All right. How's that? Oh, the top of this one. All right. Don't forget to give. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kalina. Hi. All right. And then we'll use this other clay to do the some of the fish. So the hardest part now is let me see if I can get this over here so you can see it. I don't have enough in this one little tentacle here. Hold on. You want to make sure you have enough in each of those little points. All right. So. So what I do is I start peeling from the head part. So you want to just. And, what, and if you bend the clay, when it dries, it has a, a memory, so it will kind of bend. That's why you'll see that some of your clay doesn't lie flat. Uh-oh, what happened? Hold on, I missed, I lost, there it goes, my chat. <laughs> um, so I start from the head first and then kind of move my way up. Now this is where it gets tricky, where the little tentacles are. I have to put it towards me so I can see. I find this this part the hardest part to take out. And see, I find this clay very um since it's so light, it cracks a lot easier, I think. I have better success with the paper clay than I do with this clay. And you can see why here. Let's 
say how it breaks apart. It doesn't really stay because it's so extremely soft. It doesn't really stay together that well. So you'd have to piece this all. This would have to go back up here. That would go here. So I think that's why it cracks a lot in class too, right? And that's why I think Antonius, is that his name? Antonius doesn't really suggest using this clay, especially for this. It's very, uh, it's just too soft. Now we'll see when we do the fish. Uh, let me get a piece of paper. Stick this on. It would be all right if you wanted just to cut this part off and use the diver part, but like I'm going you're using is what you've been used before. I use the other one from Michaels is the one that I like. That's the paper clay. That's the black one. I forget what it's called. I don't have any with me because I used it all. Right, let me move this out of the way. It's okay for, I think, so little solid pieces. So like the fish, when we do the fish here, it's just super soft. He doesn't care for this clay. I don't blame him. I don't like it for intricate things. It's very hard to use for that. I'm surprised they don't come up with a better formula. And because you have to bend these molds to get them out, um, they should have a better formula for it. Most of the time I let most of this sit in the mold for a little while. Uh, have you used the polymer clay this way? No, I haven't. All right, we have one more thing. And that's why it's super hard to get these gears. I have a hard time getting the gears to work out. It's just too soft. Even with the paper clay, it's hard getting the uh, gears to come out. You have some paper clay that has gone hard. Oh, really? I don't think you can rescue. If it's gone hard, I don't think you can rescue it, Dot. All right. All right, we'll let this sit. Use all these little pieces up. Mm -hmm. And I'll clean this up and then we'll get on to our, our box. Can you let it dry in the mold? Um, I, I didn't really try it with this clay. I didn't try it. I did try it with this and still I found it hard to get the, uh, the little octopus legs out. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit. Like I said, what's the nice thing about this is you can turn it over and make sure it's nice and flat, that you don't have any cracks in it. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's clean this up. I need baby wipe. We still like these, we'll make a great sugar mold. Yeah, I like the mold and it works okay with the paper clay. It's just that um, it's not very good with the Stamperia clay. Are you welcome, Julie? <laughs> I always try to put some goodies. If I know if I know you and I, I try to do um, what you like or what, you know, things that you like. So I love the new, I got some new, I always put tissue paper in. I'm always looking for fun tissue paper um, to wrap the gifts in. I mean, wrap your uh, orders in. And I love the new dragonfly one. It's dragonflies with uh, gold. It's really pretty. Hi, Dar. Chocolate moles would be great in this too. Yeah, I would love some of that. <laughs> All right. So I just did my box earlier. So these are just one of the boxes from... Um, Michael's that you get still a little wet. 
you've seen them, they look like a book and they have different designs on them. So this one just snaps up. This one had a Paris theme in it, but I I'm think I'm going to redo what's on the inside with um, the tissue paper that I got. So you can see it's still just a tad bit wet. Uh, the gold tissue paper is cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I really like the dragonfly paper. I don't think I have it here to show you, do I? It's in the other room. It's pretty. If you order it, yeah. And I only have like 10 more sheets of it, so it'll be like the next 10 orders, and then it'll be gone. <laughs> I couldn't get any more of it. All right, so where's the chipboard? I don't know if we'll finish this today, but we might get all the pieces on here. So I thought we would put the piping on here. Oh, are you going to a class with him, Julie? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Where is that class going to be? So I just want to take out the pipes for now. I have a whole weekend with him in Florida, thanks to Eileen. <laughs> I tried to listen to, he has a, um, a YouTube where they're um, asking him questions. It's hard to understand him. I had to go back a couple of times. <laughs> but he's very, uh, yes, two classes in, you know, oh, at your friend's store. How nice is that? Ask him how to, to ask him to make a sample on how we use the mold that we're having a hard time getting octopus legs out. <laughs> I have the pipes um, it's that way. Make sure you have them dance to Mama Mia. <laughs> uh, this cut the escapes in the shop. I want one. Yes, it is. Yes, I mean yes. I'll put it. I'll put it in there for you. Um, what else do we want? I'm trying to look. I also have, what did I do with it? I thought we might do a, like a little shaker. <laughs> so I actually took the, <coughs> yes, it's chipboard. He calls it gray board, but it's it's chipboard. And you can see, yeah, it's chip regular chipboard. It's not as hard. I mean, like trying to punch it out of there, it's pretty soft. Um, so what I did was I took the eight by eight pad and I punched that out. So I thought maybe we could put her in there and then add some jewels and stuff. So let's try that. We'll see if we're gonna use her or not. Happy birthday, Joyce. <laughs> So yeah, so wouldn't that look cool and like that? So we did, we did her just like that. Let me get a pencil. Ah, oh, I scraped that off. You blindly don't give ET. <laughs> no, she didn't. I, she didn't get any of these. She didn't want the the gray board. <laughs> So we could stick that in there. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, send me, yep, send me a message. I'll make sure to uh, put it in when I get off. So, so I really want to add him on here. So if we were to do this and see that, and the problem too is it's got a little, um, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't lay completely flat. There's a little gap in there. So we're going to have to see how we're going to fix that. And I thought maybe I could put the seahorse on the spine, but I thought we would put the fish in here. I really love the fish. That one, and there's another little fish. 
And then where's our chipboard? I'll put this somewhere else. So I'm going to actually use this. So this is um, the gear board. Yes, okay. Yes, I want to ask to do a sample on how, tell them to do a YouTube on how to get the um, octopus legs out of there because it's very hard, <laughs> very hard to do. Hi, Colleen. I was talking about you earlier. I got in some new um, forest stamps that goes to Stamperia, uh, the forest collection. I'll have to send you pictures and then you can let me know if you want them. There's, I think, two stencils and two stamps. I'll have to look. All right. All right. So let's see. So maybe we'll use this one in the middle here. This one's really pretty. Um, and I just got two of these. They're in the shop. Um, all these little circles. I think that one would be good. That size. How do you pronounce? I could pronounce it Stamparia, but um, it's kind of Spanish. I think they're, they're, I don't know if their office is in Hungary. I think it's in Hungary, but they do a lot of their classes in Spain. Because when you look at their Instagram, you'll see a lot of the girls talking in Spanish. Um, so that's the way I pronounce it, Stamparia. I heard somebody else stamp, pronounce it a weird way. I want to say Stemperia. Stemperia, I think I heard somebody say. I don't think that's right. I think it's Stamparia. <laughs> right, like PPO is pronounced right, Debbie. All right, let's grab these little things out of here. Yeah, it's chipboard, but it's kind of like a soft chipboard. Kind of like a mix between chipboard and remember grunge board? Kind of like that. It's very flexible, is what I want to say. I need a... We're going to put it, I want to get most of these out of here though. And then I have a whole bunch of metals that we could put in here. What happened to Miss? Oh, we'll have fun this pronouncing it oh, with an accent now. <laughs> Stemperia, some people like to call it, and I, I call it Stemperia, so. All right. I think we'll put some lace on here as well to give it some texture. All right, we got most of those out. I think I'm going to stick that in there. So I think we'll put something like that. And in the corners here, I want to um, maybe we'll stamp something. I love this too. This looks like one of those um, optical uh, optical eyes. This one like a monocle, <laughs> see that? Um, I don't know if I'll add another, maybe I might add another one here. And then don't throw away this chipboard. It's always good to break up for pieces to use like pop, do um, pop dots or just even in your background. It is a little fiddly at these out. I don't wanna break it. Uh, Alexa just said, 
didn't understand what he wanted. <laughs> Maybe she thinks I want a stamp, not Stamparia. <laughs> that one too as well. I tried to look, I have some other gear stuff, but of course I couldn't find it right away. So, so I think we'll do this one down here. We'll do that. Oh, I can't see. Let me move some of this stuff. So we have that there. What did I miss? Hi, hey, April. <laughs> yes, glad you called me too. Yeah, I'm just making a little box because I want to keep all my clay things. So I'm going to keep it in this box, I think. So I think if we did that and then we did one of these fish up here, maybe one down here. Cute, isn't it? So let's put some texture in the back part. Mm. Just looking at chat for a minute. Yeah, I usually stream 4.30. Yep, on uh, Sundays usually. Yeah, I have to apologize too for last Sunday. Um, we, we actually, um, my daughter takes the ferry. She lives in the city and um, she missed the ferry. So I couldn't stream last Sunday. And then I promised I was going to stream on Monday night, and then I wind up going to the dentist and having an unexpected uh, root canal. So, uh, yeah, I didn't stream on. Uh, I'm going to break these apart. Let's see. I think we'll put these on here, too, as well. Let's see. I might have to move this over a little. Put the pipes on here. So let's see. We want to connect. You love the gray board filigree? I do too. Yeah, I have two of those in the shop. So we did that and then make another one down here. I think if we do that, that looks pretty good. Um, and then I want to put some texture in the background. So we have a kind of an idea of what we want. So let's just take this all off. I would like to use this bigger fish too. Might have to, might have to use the bigger one and put him down here because he's just so cool. All right. So I'm going to lay this down like this. I know I want that there, that up there. All right. So let's see. Little pipes, I do too, Devon. They're really cool. I also have some of these. See, now this is done with Stamparia um, paper clay, and it's fine. It's I think it's okay for little things because you can see here, like this. Here's a little starfish, um, but for bigger things, intricate things, it's not that great. All right, so let's get some texture paste. What shall we use? Mm. I also took out. Fins, uh, let's see. This is the mint green uh, patina effect paste. We have the mint green. I have the, I love this color here. This one, the blue, it's like a turquoise blue. I have that. I have the brass, brass is like a copper. That's a copper one. And then I thought I had a yellow. Yeah, here it is. And this is the brown. Brown to make it very um, rustic. And then I've got this one in the... So let's go with... What should we put down first? Maybe we'll put down this color first. This one is rust tube. Yeah, so this is a smaller rust. Brown rust. Brass. All right, let's put the rust down first. See what that looks like. The rust paste, there they are nice, aren't they? Um, so we need a stencil. So what do I do with those stencils now? Did you see what I did with the stencils? <laughs> Maybe we'll use some of, uh, let's see, hold on. 
Shall we use? Where, no, I'm looking for the pipe ones. Where, where is that? You see what I did with the pipe ones? Mm. I just hate that. I just had it here. <laughs> where is it? Uh, hold on. Oh, I see it now. Way over here. Pipe crackle. Hold on, I'm not looking at chat. Hold on. I'm looking for another bug one. Hold on. We have the pipes we could put on here. We also have this. This is Studio Light. Uh, they call it gray board, too. They don't call it chipboard. We have that, and we have the pipe stencil. That. All right. I'm also looking for... Let's see. I have some lace. This is some that Amalia had given us in uh, Maryland. You still want that paint? What paint? Um, this is not the one I wanted. This one's got some nice pearls in it. I could use it on the edge, maybe. One, two, let's cut it right here. One, two, three. What paint? <laughs> You mean the paste? The tube of black oil. Oh, his tube. I have the brown one coming. Is, does he have a black one? Hold on. I'm looking for some other lace that I had. If I can find it. Uh, which one of this tube looking? What is it? It's awesome. It does awesome stuff. All right. Hold on a second. I'm just going to run to my table for my other lace I want. Oh, I couldn't find the lace, but let's see. No, I wanted to show you this. I couldn't find my lace, but I did find the dragonfly tissue paper. Thank you. So that's what your order wrapped up in. Oh, I don't know what to do with my lace. Anyway, all right, let's, let's get going. So we'll put this at the edge. I think I'm gonna put that on the edge. You want you want it whatever color it is. <laughs> ah. He's got also new stamp, well, not him, but if you like the um, imaginary collection, um, they came out with stamps. You know the dress that's on the um, on that collection and the girl's face. Those stamps will be coming. They're not here yet, but they'll be coming. And if you don't know who we're talking about, this is the guy who made the Sea World collection. That's him. Aeneas Antonius Zandakis. He's, he's Greek, right? Yeah, I have the brown one coming. I think it's coming. I don't know if it's the next order or the one after that. All right, so let's see. And we're going to use the crackle. But let's use the crackle one, too. So, Colleen, this is one of the ones that go with the far pencil. 
And the other one is the leaf one. I'll have to show you that. The tissue paper. Oh, thank you. You're using it? <laughs> That's good, Sharon. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use the crackle and we're going to use this. So let's see. I think this paste is pretty thick. I might have to go with something a little bit thinner. I haven't used, never used it, so let's try it. So this is Finnabar's Rust. I'm not even sure if you can get this anymore. Um, I know Picola had asked me to get the white crackle. I don't know if I, I don't think they have the white crackle. They have the platinum one and the clear one. Those will be coming this week um, if you're looking for her crackle paste. The only problem with using this right now is I'm going to be going all over this with black. So let's put, let's not use this one. Because I want to paint the whole thing black afterwards. And then we'll come in with the, with this, with the rust paste and stuff. So what other the paste do I have here that we can use? Hold on. I have the heavy body paste, uh, modeling paste. I was also, oh, let me use my whooped one. We'll use this one. This is um, just an old one I have. It's whipped spackle paste. It's a little bit thinner and lighter because we're going to be painting over this all in black anyway. So let's use this first. Um, is Pacola here? Because she was asking me about the crackle paste. So I was able to get it, but um, not in the white as far as I know. It doesn't matter that this is mixed um, because we're going to, like I said, we're going to go back over this in the black. And a lot of this part in the middle is going to be covered up anyway with the uh, diver. Are you supposed to pick up some <laughs> spackle paste where at the hardware store? I like this one at the bottom. I love using the silicone brush because you can mostly get it off of the stencil pretty much all of it. All right, there we go. Ah, look how cool it looks. <laughs> so we're gonna put it just on the top and then I'm gonna put it at the, this part. Cause we're gonna go over it too with, um, I'm just reading the chat for a minute. Not for crafty purposes. Not for crafty purposes, because you have to spackle something, a wall or something. All right, so um, let's, I'm going to put that big chipboard there. So let's do this one. It looks great, doesn't it, Sharon? <laughs> How'd you do with your auction? And was that, oh, that's next week. Sharon runs the auction. Is it you who runs the auction for disabled artists? Um, I think it's next Saturday, she said. It was kind of a mix up. <laughs> I think she thought it was this Saturday, but then it's next Saturday. I forget. Is it Mary in that too, doing the, um, the auction? Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sharon. Sharon was the one who told us about the um, the Yamatoto um, glue for the rice papers. Did you use that tonight, Patty? I had to leave the stream early because I was trying to get ready. Where 
wipe this off. Uh, no, I don't. It's a Care Care Hearts channel guy. I was watching Mary. That's M E R I. What was she talking about? <laughs> she was telling this story. And it was about some girl in a leather jacket. <laughs> I had, I was lost. I had no idea what she was talking about. Was that for real, or was she talking about a book, Sharon? I don't know what it was. It was a wild story, that's for sure. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know, you just showed it. Thanks. Yeah, I love this one. I think you got this one, didn't you, um, Eileen? I think you. So let me wipe this down. Oh, I need a um, piece of paper. It was a lovely story, but what was it true? I didn't know. I wanted it. <laughs> I didn't know what she was talking about. But was it a true story? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Were you there, Eileen? Oh my gosh, that was like, I was lost. Where's the top now? There it is. It's a long story. <laughs> Were you there too, Laura? <laughs> oh, that was confusing. All right, I need to wipe, to wipe this off. Lung stamp, what is that? I just want to wipe this off. You have to wipe off the paste right away. Um, you don't want that stain on your stencil, especially on these little words. I liked her little, she was doing a junk journal cover. It really looked cool though. She used um, like cardboard box, uh, Mary did. It was really nice. And they did like a cutout hole in it. She didn't know what the hole was for yet. <laughs> So the paste off of that. I'll stick that in the water later. Uh, you know, <laughs> what happened? Back to fall down the rabbit hole. What rabbit hole? <laughs> you got the gray board. All right, we got that done. So I'm going to use the heat gun and dry this. It should be dry. It's pretty thin, but I'm going to get my heat gun. Uh, thanks for company. Okay, good to go. Thanks for coming in. Stop and bomb. All right, what time is it? We have about 15 minutes. We're not going to finish this today, so we'll finish it next week, but we'll have an idea. I have to get my heat gun. Stop behind here. There we go. Heat gun. Debbie. <laughs> I also did these. Now I did these in resin. See, this is a mermaid. This is a prima mold. I thought she would look cool with the diver. She might go on the spine though. Let's see. 
I'm going to do the crackle last when we put like gold and put gold through the crackle. Base is filled with enabling. <laughs> well, what did Patty enable you with? Paint? <laughs> I, I didn't see the colors. Oh, All right. All right. So we have that, that, and I'm going to put some. I wish I found my other texture. I'm going to decide if I want this on here or not. Let's see what we have now. We have that. I think that'll be too much to lace. Maybe I'll put it on the inside. And we have this. Oops. That's going to go like that. Maybe this will go up and down. That'll go like that. I think I'm going to put the fish in here. Definitely putting the fish in there. We got that. Are we pulling these days? Mm. My IB, I usually, usually get it every two weeks, but um, now it's every month. And so kind of a little hurting more this week. Um, the root canal didn't help me either this week. <laughs> Hold on. I have to take these out. So a little bit more achy than usual. Hopefully next Tuesday I get my IB and things will be a lot better. These are a little bit fiddly to get out the smaller ones. There we go. Push your book up. Okay. How's that? Better? Lena. Hi, oh, Linda. Lena. <laughs> I'm just I'm just pulling out the little uh, pieces that come inside here. I broke it. You can see it's pretty thin. But it doesn't matter because we're going to hope. <laughs> I broke it. That's all right. It's going under anyway, so. I'm just pulling these other little pieces out. Hi, Kathy. I wanted you to see my oriental book. I used those little round, what did I do with it? Those little round jelly plate, um, deli paper that you gave me. I put that in my oriental book. Came out really cute. Thank you. I put like, I think two or three of them in there. I really need a poker. There we go. Uh, if I find what I did with it, I'll show it to you. Some cute um, experiments. I had to crack up when she was doing her sprays, and she was so excited when uh, she got texture from her box. It was really cool. Oh, no worries. All right, got one more here to take out. All right, so we're going to glue these down. All right, so let's glue this down. We know where we want that. So I think I want that up there like that. That's going to go down here. And then we have the other fish. The other big fish, this one. That one's going to come up here. So we're going to actually put that there. You can see now, right? Move this over. Move these out of the way. There we go. And then I have these tiny little chipboard fish. Can you see those? They're super tiny. We're going to add those in there. All right, so now we need glue. What, I'm going to use this. Oh, thanks, Laura. <laughs> All right, so let's glue down. And we could as well use the um, seahorse, too, but I really want the diver in there. The seahorse lid will look awesome in there, too, in that little bubble. But I think I'd have to make another one where I could bend it to the spine. 
that's it's just not going to work in there. All right, so let's just glue this. So I'm just using some Fabri-Tac glue. I had some of Aileen's, but I don't know what it was. It. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go up here. And then I'm just going to glue the top of this just so I have an idea where the bottom ring is going. So I want to. Now see, that's going to be a problem. I might have to just break it because it's not completely flat right there. Oh, let's see. All right, so this one, I think I'm going to put it like this. Maybe I won't even use it. I might save that piece. Let's see if we. I'm going to save that little piece. I'll just use those three. And then let's glue this one down. See, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to break this. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, ready? Going to go crash. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it'll be all right. Step away for dinner. Oh, you did? <laughs> it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, we put some texture paste through the um, pipe stencil. Some more the the molds for that. I love that. All right. So I think I wish this fish went the other way, but <laughs> oh well. So do we want this fish here? Up here. I think maybe down here. Oh, we didn't put the other pipes. Wait. Girls didn't tell me the pipes. <laughs> pipes are supposed to go here. How do we have this now? Now I'm going to have to rearrange it because I have this here. Uh, where's my scissors? So I'm going to put this one here. So this one's going to go like this. Then we got to put all the little gears. I have a ton of gears. It's not where we originally had it, but let's see. We have that. Maybe I'll put the pipe this way. What do you think? Like that? One, two, three, and then we should have another little, another little pipe somewhere. I think maybe just there and there. That's what we'll do. You forgot? What did you forget, Sharon? You just asked about the pipes. You did? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> uh, just reading the chat. <laughs> All right, so we have that and that. I really love that 
that fish there. All right, now we'll put this one. This one, put here. So I wanna make sure when I bend it, it should be fine, right? Yeah, fine. All right there. So now, let's see all these little tiny fish. So let me clean this up here. I have no room here, it's just one big mess. We have the starfish. Let's see what you think. Maybe we'll put the starfish. Uh, let's see. I've got the little sand dollar. Whoops. I have a tiny little seahorse. Um, let's see. I really have this mermaid tail, which I was wondering if we should put on here. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. Uh, let's see. I have that tail or I have this one. I could probably maybe put that, that up there with the pipe. What do you think? Too much. This one doesn't want to stay down. Let's see. Let's see what we have a little fish. All right, let me put these out of the way so we get out that. Let's see what else we have to play with. Let's do those up there. Oops. Might use the. I'm going to add the gears and stuff, and then we'll paint it black. And then next week we'll come with the different paste. But look how tiny these fish are. I mean, some of them are like super tiny. Can you see that? They're teeny tiny. So we might put some of these on the pipes, like they're flying on the pipe. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I'm going to put just a couple. A tiny school of minnows it is. <laughs> A mini school of fish. Um, I don't know. What do you think about this? I think it's too much. The tail. I really would like to put mermaid tail here, but I don't see where it's going to fit. I think the mermaid's got to go. She could have came out of the spout, though, <laughs> if I had pushed this up a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> killfish. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's put these tiny little fish on here. I could have the fish coming out of the drain. <laughs> no mermaid. I'll put the tail on the spine. Maybe that's what I'll do. How about if I have the fish coming out of the spout? <laughs> uh, let's do that. Yeah, that's a good. Well, yeah, I think the seahorse will be too big, but maybe I could put the um, I could put a cluster of mermaid and stuff on there. Where else can we put some? I mean, these are super tiny. I don't even know how, whoever, I don't even know where I got these from, how they cut these out. I love this one, the angelfish. Angelfish. I think I'll put one more. What do we have here? There 
we go. <laughs> yes, I missed something. What did I miss? Mm -hmm. Having a problem. All the drains lead to the ocean. <laughs> all right, so now let me move this out. I have all these tiny um, gears that I want to put on there. Well, I did have some of these metals. See, my problem is I want to put everything on. <laughs> I want to put everything on the book. All right, let me move this. I don't want to lose all my little fish. My luck, I'll drop the whole thing all over. There we go. Um, we'll do that next week with the gold when we put the for the um, final touch. Look at this is cute. I don't know even where I got this. It's a little diver. But let me put this on. So let's throw some gears on here. I could do this found objects on here. What do you think? And then these are tiny little watch parts. You see that? I'll put them on at the end. When, like, I want to use one for the eye and the fish. Uh, so let's see. I love this. I have to. I have to look for my die too. See, this is gears with hearts in it. So I think I want to throw some gears in here. I have some bigger ones too. And I like these with the jewels. You see that with the little jewels? Oh, thanks, Sharon. <laughs> um, so we can put that there. Let me put this one here. And we need a little one on top of there. I have some of these too. These are the rust mechanicals um, from Finnabar. I like that one. that there you could use a brass diver's head as a knob oh that's a good idea i might have to be able to, we'll have to see if we could do that somehow right, let's see i had wings too could have put the wings on the diver <laughs> uh, move that over there um, and then I had some of these chains, too. I thought about using the chain maybe to open up um, the door. This has little gears in it. Can you see that? It's got little gears in the chain. I got that long time ago. I think it's Michael's. Let's say here's one of Finn's when they came out, when Prima came out with gears with the heart. I love those. bigger ones in instead this also will help with the octopus that it's like curled up up a little can I go in there or not what's stopping that there that that so many kitties <laughs> I have a big giant box just filled I love this one too whoops that's one of Finnabar's it's this and we'll put that one there I have a little key, too. Um, let's see. I could put these little stars. Maybe a little star on here. I have one of Tim's little nice ones. We get to put all the wax and stuff on there. Uh, let's see what else. This one is an actual gear, like from the hardware store. You can always get little gears there, little tiny gears. We'll put that there. Um, this one's a cool one, too. This one actually says, what does it say? Art is the answer. Ooh, that one's a cool one. I didn't even know I had that. Maybe that's what I should put here. So we can... 
art is the answer. And I'll put a little I'm looking for something to go on the top of that, but that's not going to cover the not going to cover the words, you know. There we go. That one's good. We'll put that on there. Remember to edit, 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 edit. Okay, <laughs> CB. So maybe I won't use the stars then. How's that? I do like the way it is that. I do think we have, don't we need one more place for gears? I think we need one more place for gears. Maybe like here. Maybe I won't use this. Since we have that, art is the magic. I won't use that there. I'll use that, that. That on top. Connor. Welcome. We're almost about done. I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to put a uh, paint it over in black. And then next week we'll come in with the, I'll make a mold for the spine and then we'll come in and actually do the coloring with the waxes. So I do want to just get a couple more in here. Let's see what do I have? do that and I think it needs one little one on top uh, let's see okay how's that look I think that's pretty good right it looks kind of cluttered because I could put some numbers on here too but maybe a little five on there All right, let's glue this down and then we will paint. And then, like I said, next week is a, it's a shame that this is going to be covered, but we'll um, jazz it up with the um, waxes. Oops. Thank you, Joan. Trying to get this. There we go. Uh, uh, nothing, Kimberly. You love to flourish under the diver. Oh, this, yeah. That looks pretty cool. Make sure that that's down. All right. Um, I'm going to glue this one. So we can read that art is the answer. Thanks, Devon. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and there. That and then this tiny one. That's going to cover it. Uh, maybe I'll put up this little star. That's one of the little tiny star on top of there. It's cute. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have to glue this one down. Oh, can't get it out now. This is pretty thick. I would actually cut this, but I don't think I can cut it with even with my Timmy scissors. I don't. I don't think you can cut it now. All right. So next week we'll finish this up, and then maybe if we have time, we'll do a art journal page. We'll see. Nope, that doesn't. It needs a little. There we go. Put the 
this little one on there. Put one of these little bolts. I think I'm going to put that maybe on, on there. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm getting ready to go myself. I just want, um, ah, want you guys to see it all painted black and then we'll, uh, there we go. There's that. This has to be glued down. Oh, thanks, CB. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use um, the, the different patinas on there. And All right, I think we got everything glued down, right? Yep. And I don't think we need that, do we? No. All right, so let's get the paintbrush out. Uh, where's my brush? Oh, dear. I'm going to have to put something to weight this down a little bit so it'll stick. But that's looking so far, isn't it? <laughs> I'll bring it up close so you can see it. I love that fish, that one. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. All right, so I'm just going to put some black all over it. I really probably should wait till the glue dries, but we'll see. See what happens. <laughs> so that's it. Have a great weekend. Um, be sure to check out the store if you're looking for some new things. Um, Message me if there's anything that you want. Amalia, message me. You say it's always empty. If you let me know what you want, then I can get it in and then hold it for you and uh, put it in a special order. So let me know. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. So, yeah, you can message me anytime. Um, and I can always get in something. If you're looking for something, let me know. Um, but otherwise, um, that's it until next week. Oh, thanks, Joan. Dorothy, I always stay up so late. <laughs> thanks to my mods as usual. Have a great weekend, guys. And so then I'm just going to sign off. You don't really need to see me paint this all black. But um, the fun part will be next week when we actually get to uh, use all the different colors. So, uh, not long to wait then. Nope. Uh, thanks, Eileen. All right, I'm going to say goodbye, guys, and I will um, talk to you next week. Uh, thanks, April. Bye. <laughs>